Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, <coughs> I don't know how to begin, but this is like you know, I'm a journey into the forget it and set it zone. Like I'm aiming for that now. Let me try the other thing over here. I hope you got like my new microphone set up. I just new microphone. I'm. It's just kind of like I'm trying to get this channel together, so I'm just trying to figure out the proper format. But I am doing local recordings, and this is um, underneath. I think I, this should be underneath bugs. I don't even have an error section. But check this out. Look, I just noticed this today. I hit. I noticed I went off. Said, "Damn, my, my strategy's got the alerts now here." <laughs> But uh, we got something missing up here. We had some two of these missing. So, <clears throat> and by the way, you know this is it. Something I'm testing out right here. But look, it was I, I set it at four hundred dollars, right? Because I wanted to show the, you know the related, the uh, actual percentages related to actual account balance inside of the uh, the wallet which is like 500 now so I can change this to 500 but I was moving this around to like 400 and this was disappearing now look <laughs> what in the hell I swear to god like okay look 400 here it is like 402 where is the close like what the hell I never seen this. I mean, you gotta be make. You can't be making this shit up. I mean, a lot of people been telling me ghost orders exist. The alerting are fine. That's supposed to be. The, then this pops up now. You know that's fine. You know, let's go four hundred. This is where I had it at, at first. This is, was disappearing a while ago. So this this value should you know. But I, if I go to four hundred and one, four hundred and two. Alright, good. My other my other screen was giving me all kind of weird ass volume, so it could be a, a function me having too many damn windows, too many trade view bots running at one time. <laughs> I don't know. But this is crazy. But hey, anyway. You know, I don't know how to explain this, but look look. 122, there it is, look, 122 all of a sudden, huh, yeah, that's kind of funny, what if I went to one, uh, for one, alright, that's, I don't really care, I'm just, I just want you guys to be aware of these types of glitches, the bugs, whatever these things are inside TradingView, just be aware of them, okay, sometimes I do recalculate on every tick, but that might fix the problem just by clicking it, so what if I do 500? Uh, okay, 400. All right. So, and these are just these uh, screens, uh, screen longs and shorts right here. These don't really. The real the alerts get taken from down here. So if you don't see these things flickering around. Then you you know you don't gotta worry about it. But I'm still kind of weary. I have to keep an eye on this thing. Uh, so I found another. Like I've been looking at the strategies in depth for a while, and I've been coding an EMA. Let me see if I should show you guys. Uh, care to have shown you guys a strategy that's got the same time frame as this one alright so what's the time frame mean right let's put $400 in that one okay that did change the values okay cool also let me let me show you the, the, the list of trades how about that yeah okay 4722 oh, this is the one and this one, I can set this to 722. I feel like it. The list of trades started on the 22nd for this one. Okay. 
All right, just notice it started on the 22nd. I know it doesn't. I know when you're looking at this, you're like, so what? It's only $1,000 since what? Since eight days ago or nine, eight or nine days ago. See, that's amazing. But you guys haven't seen this long term. The long term view is this thing's doing this shit on the long term view, man. It's crazy. All right, so same over here. I'm looking at. I'm able to test these things on long term now and then pour them over into trading view with the outstanding settings, okay? But I can't say it's going to do what I want to do, so I'm testing it right now. Mm. Like this one here. Uh, I want to set the. I want to give you the month view. I want to give you the. I want to give you the. Uh, to give you the month I mean the from the 22nd just like this one right the stochastic all right there it is let's go to the 19th let me see what does the 22nd look like anyway I don't even know these days 22nd is damn really that's September okay okay let's get let's get back 22nd is not 19th okay 22nd is right here so let's do the 19th one two weeks okay let's just two weeks okay 22nd 19th Nineteenth on this one. All right, and then I'll do the nineteenth on this one. Okay, we do list of trades on this one, and then start it one trade on the nineteenth and this one. Numbers. Put up the nineteenth for two weeks. View. So the only thing that bug is popping back up. That is crazy, bro. What a silly bug. Hmm. That's an opportunity. That book have its way. Alright. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, man. Crazy, man. Alright. What are we going to do? List the trades. 22nd. Damn. So I set this thing to the 19th and it still took a trade on the 22nd. Well, can we get one? Okay, we got one on the 18th, guys. That's close enough. Let me that do anything good. Ten trades. Seven trades. Let's get hundred percent. Ten trades, a hundred percent. Wow. Not bad. Alright, this is the eighteenth. Move this one over here to the eighteenth too. Alright. Because it didn't make a trade on the nineteenth, so I want to kind of like really get some good trades in here. Okay, here we go. Roll with this. All right. On the 18th, okay. Got another forget it and send it and forget it. But I'm over here comparing this to. Okay, that I've been working on. All right, bam. All right. So look. One thousand three hundred eight cents. 
Mr. Trey. And I, this is why I'm, I'm, I'm about to switch the strategy right here. Because uh, I wasn't just going to keep this running all the way out. But uh, it's just not. It's not going to be doing that today. Alright, let me throw this thing out. Alright, so it's catching every turn in. Alright, here are some of the trades that it took back here. You know, colliding on these uh, EMAs. Let me see. Let me see if I can show you guys these EMA collisions. That's what I call them. Here's one. Boom! From the bottom. Bam! It's short. Catches the. Got short. Catches it down here. Boom! Alright, that's one trade. Alright, there's no more trades up before that. And I think it is one more. One. one. Then there's another one, two. So it catches this one, one. From where? From the EMA from right here, all right? It decides to go short, boom. It could be, I don't know. The reactionary stuff is, is crazy. It's, it's just the way it formulates it. All right, look. One, pop here. Bro, this is, remember, this is 100% strategy, all right? So far, all right? So look, it's not gonna say 100%. One, two, Three, four, again. Then right here, it turns. But why is it this wick went all the way up to this red line right here? Do you guys see this shit? I don't know if I can make this any more abundant clear. Alright. Boom. That's a that's a EMA that's a that's a EMA. Boom. The wick. All the way up here, man. Alright, so the Imagine there's orders all the way from up here and down here. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody buys every fucking order. The thing slams all the way up here. Get somebody there. Lucky price. It's like it. me putting the order at one cent and somebody sells and there's nobody else selling. I mean, there's nobody else buying but you at one cent. That's what these wicks are. Ain't no orders up in here. Boom. Somebody gets filled. It comes right back down here. Boom. <laughs> oh, this shit is crazy. All right, so look. Soon, we're going to be doing limit orders that do similar things, but we can't really pull that type of shit off in pine code. You can't do it in pine code with all of it. It just doesn't. You cannot. I've been sitting here trying to do it. I have to move into Python. But... <laughs> there is a new language on the rise called Julia. God damn, it takes everything about C, everything about Python. Yeah, C, that's like machine language. Like, you know what machine language is? That's like ones and zeros. That's the fastest. Like, Python is not that fast. But if you can make Python fast, like C++, compiled and put in the execution file, you know, into machine code. That's what this Julia shit is. God damn, it's crazy as it sounds. I am digging in through this language. For the mercy of my bot and the profits of my clients. All right, check it out. Please bear with me. I'm not forgetting about you guys. I know, I know who paid for it. You guys are getting it, you're getting it in. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna give it to you. Don't worry. It's just gonna take a little, a few wilds. I don't know how wild, but a few wild loops later, you guys will see what I'm talking about. But check this shit out. Now look. You can see these. I don't know if you guys can see these in the stream. You fucking see this shit? Oh my god, you know, If you guys can see this. But it's like, damn, it disrespects these EMAs. Like, would not believe. <laughs> you can't believe this. I don't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> I cannot make it up, man. Okay? I am not making this shit up. All right, let me get out of here because I can't, I can't do it no more right now. I got to show you the other one. I got to show you the other one really quick. Now, this is the... Behind the scenes, okay, what's going on in the back cave? This is also wait, wait, list of trades. First trade taken. Can you see this? Blow it up. Just 
Pete's sake. Blow this shit up. Can't see it. All right, look. Bam. Eight, 18. All right, boom. Now, let me pull this one up. Now, this is the stochastic R. First trade was taken eight, 18. And what do you get? You get this. Boom. 1,013. 100% profitable. All right. Not bad. All right, check this out. Boom. This is, uh, okay, this is, uh, this damn thing's doing good on almost every exchange like this, too. This is what's crazy. This is the EMA, okay? Crossed out with the SMA, okay? Just, uh, trust me, I'm not using the EMAs like the Anyone else in the fucking industry is using these motherfuckers, alright? But check it out. Uh, the trades. Okay. Um, let's just list the trades. Just want you to see. 818. Same, same thing going on. Okay. And trust me, I've, I've actually been able to port this and look at this on a larger time frame these numbers stick they don't stay 100 percent, but they stay close to 87 90 after you know a year okay of back test data so this is tr crazy good result but i haven't released this yet i'm not sure when i'm going to i just gotta test me because i'm just this is for pine this is for trading you and i'm and working on a bot I want these things out of my box. I don't really want them on Pine. I don't really want them on Trading View, but whatever. If there's a demand for it, I will put post it. So yeah, eight trades. Let me see what, what did the other one say? Ten trades, eight trades, five thirty two. Average trade two hundred and twenty dollars. Okay. Let me just <laughs> bye bye. I clicked it already, guys. All right, there we go. Stay stuck like that. Yeah, you are. All right. So I want you to see that it took, you know, this famous, this famous glitch that they're calling it, right? <laughs> really, it, it, it tells you the mind of the traders out there, right? Because what happened here? This is what happened here. This order right here, guys. I know you know what happened right here, right? This is when trading you decided, you know, I'm not not trading you, but Bitmex decided, okay. We're gonna take this hour off. This is the, on the, you know, if I had the hours right, this would say, you know, right here, during these, the, this hour right here, on, you know, they're gonna, you know, uh, halt trading and pause because they gotta fix up. Some trader out there was like, I guess they were hella shorter, whatever the case was, and they, they did a buy. while they did this on purpose on another other exchange oh the exchange was i think it was i think it was bit thumb i don't know what exchange it was but one of these damn exchanges had the volume that represented this candle it wasn't bitmex and all these short orders down here saved their this saved them from being like short squeezed out and liquidated as soon as as soon as uh things returned to normal now here, I'm not sure if this short squeeze worked or anything, but no, actually it didn't work. But they're still getting short squeezed the shit fuck out of their sales right now. Right now, whoever bought, whoever sold now here is in pain. Whoever sold right here, whoever sold all the way up in here. Okay, but whoever bought it here, depending if they opened or closed, if they opened right here, I'm feeling good right now. Instead of feeling stupid, like they thought they were going to feel. Okay? What I got to say? My hat goes off to you. Let's profit, baby. Let's profit. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. All right, so. Yeah, this is. I'm thinking about porting this over to the live stream because of the significance of the, uh, the fucking. Phew. I tell you, man. I tell you significance of the trade sequence all right from what i've seen 
even on like larger time frames, like it is crazy. I'm, I'm able, I'm been able to actually back check on larger time frames. The special program I got, got created. So don't worry, don't worry. It doesn't look good. It, it looks. It doesn't have visuals and stuff like that yet. With my graphics, like trading you does report cards that got graphical hills like this blue line right here it doesn't have all that good glistening stuff that makes you get your, your tongue water and stuff like that all right yeah your tongue waters not your mouth come on guys you know your, your saliva lands in your tongue all right tongue waters man not in the mouth tongue waters in the mouth see i'll be hitting you guys with that type of precision in my in my in my in my terminology soon though Currently, I'm just working on it because it helps me program better. Trust me, it does. As interesting as that sounds, just, just be precise with our words, gentlemen and, la and ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be precise with our words. Okay. It helps us think better and helps us as traders, okay? All right, so. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Out of here. Yeah, anything above 7,150 is bullish. All right, just so you guys know, the real point of resistance was met right here. Uh, my bot just closed this out at 12, at 7, 712, I mean 7,212, like right, I'll just show you over here. Uh, did he tell you, huh? Oh, there it is. 7,000. Right here. 7,212 right here. At 801. It just closed this out. Alright, that's it. That's all it was supposed to do. Alright. Cool. Great. Right. Damn, my wild balance went up, huh? Or am I tripping? Are longs, are shorts paying long? I'm not in the, I'm not even in the position. Alright. Let's get out of here. Close out. I'm posting this trade dynamic air review, trade review, all right, and best profit.